Unit 3 Part 1 Which region of your country do you live in? I live in the northwestern part of South Korea, in Seoul, the country's capital. Even though it is just one of the many cities in Korea, almost one-fifth of the Korean population resides there. The city is divided by a river, and my apartment is in one of the districts north of it. What are some good things about where you live? Because I really like to watch plays, I love that there are so many theaters in my city. In addition, there is a giant baseball stadium downtown. Since all my friends and I are huge baseball fans, we are very glad to have it. Is there anything you don't like about your city? What I detest about my city is the traffic. I live in Seoul, where the congestion is very heavy at all times. Furthermore, traffic gets even worse on the weekend. I always get stressed out while driving. Do you think the public transportation is good in your area? I'm pretty satisfied with the public transportation in my area. It is quite reliable and fast, especially the subway system. Some people worry that the tickets are getting too expensive. However, I think they are rather cheap compared to the transportation services in other countries. What things can people do in your area? I live in an urban area, so there are many good places for attending various cultural events. For example, people can attend art exhibitions and concerts in various areas. Insadong, for instance, is a district in my city that is famous for having many traditional art galleries and shows. Tell me about your hometown. My hometown is Busan, which is the largest port city in Korea. It is located on the south end of the Korean peninsula. Not only does it have many skyscrapers, but it also has a number of great beaches. Is your hometown a good place to be raised? I think so. It has lots of places where kids can play and learn. For example, my father used to take me to the beach every Sunday to teach me how to swim. In addition, there was a big aquarium near my home, and I enjoyed watching exotic sea creatures every now and then. Do you want to live in the countryside when you get old? I don't think that would be a good idea. Since I have never lived in the countryside before, I'd have to learn a lot of things if I moved there. Besides, learning new things gets harder with age, so it would be very difficult for me to adjust. Part 2 There are many great places to go in my city, but my favorite one is the public library. It is located near my house. In fact, it only takes five minutes by bus to get there. Since it is located right next to the bus stop, I don't have to walk for very long. I go there every Saturday. Sometimes, I also visit during the week when I need books to refer to for my work. Whenever I visit, I return books that I have finished reading and borrow some more. I can take out books for free as long as I'm a resident of my city. They'll even let me watch VODs in the computer room. There are many reasons why the public library is my favorite place. First, it's quiet. As you know, it's hard to find anywhere to relax when you live in a city. However, in the library, I can rest or study without being distracted by noise. Also, I can read many books. I'm a bookworm and reading is my favorite hobby. Being able to read many different kinds of books for free is great for me. Part 3 Do you think there should be more places to enjoy leisure activities in cities? Not really. It seems there are already a number of areas to enjoy leisure activities. 
For example, like any large city, Seoul has tons of gyms, libraries, theaters, and shopping centers. These are all great for people looking for things to do. Of course, it would be great if we had even more leisure facilities, but I don't think that is essential. Do you think leisure facilities should be free for the public? I know that people have a lot of different opinions about this, but I think recreation centers should be made available to the public without charge. This is because these places make people healthier and happier in general. A lot of people these days don't get enough rest due to their heavy workloads. However, if leisure facilities were offered for free, people would visit them more and it would result in their enhanced mental and physical health. Part 2 My neighborhood is Jongno, which is located in northern Seoul. There are many things I like about my neighborhood. But what I enjoy most is walking in the local park. I take a walk there almost every day after dinner. It is also a good place to play badminton with my friends. For the most part, I'm happy with my neighborhood, but there are a few things I don't like about it. One of these is the parking problem. Since it's a very popular area, there are never enough places to leave your car. Another issue is the cost. My neighborhood's popularity makes it an expensive place to live. In particular, real estate rental fees are outrageously high. Despite these downsides, I love my neighborhood for several reasons. First, there are many great leisure facilities nearby. For example, parks and gyms are easily accessible. Second, it has excellent public transportation. The subway station is very close to my home. It's only about a 10-minute walk from my front door, which is very convenient for me. Part 3 What are the differences between life in the countryside and life in the city? One major difference is that city life is more convenient. Cities have public transportation and retail outlets all over the place, so it is easy to get around and buy whatever you need. Unfortunately, these things aren't as accessible in the countryside. However, people who live in rural areas often enjoy more peaceful and healthier lives. This is because the air outside of cities is much cleaner and there is a lot less noise. What sorts of problems do most cities have? Cities face many different kinds of problems, but I think the biggest concern is overcrowding. This is a huge problem because it causes traffic jams as well as discomfort for people who have to commute using public transportation. In addition, overcrowding causes severe housing problems. It especially makes real estate prices skyrocket.